Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, today, let's let's model this one. Okay, so we're going to use mass. Um, let's start. So this is this is it. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's close this one and let's start from scratch. So we're going to use a uh, uh, create a project and uh, use a model in place mass. Okay, so first uh, model in place mass and okay and okay. So first we need to draw a circle. So to get the size, the shape, or uh, the size of this um, of this uh, model, this uh, this mass. So first I'm going to just draw a uh, maybe. Yeah, roughly 10 meter radius, so 20 meter diameter. So, um, and let's go to 3D view. Okay, so, um, so place a point. Okay, so draw on face and onto this circle. So I'm going to just place it on here. So it's um, at 0 0.75. So at this point, if I go up to the top, so it will be at this point. Um, Okay, so okay, so south, and um, another oh, sorry. not not sorry, and not another point. We just need to uh, create a profile and copy the profile together with the point. So let's have a look at this. Uh, so basically, um, we need to create some profile here and also another one here to capture the. Um, the shape of this. So if this is not here, uh, we had, we don't have much here. But if we look at here, so we can just um, simply. I'll just do a screenshot. So if I cut here, I'm imagining. Oh, let me just. The shape of this will be like will be like this. So um, it's easier to add a little bit thickness to it. So imagine that's a floor. And go up, go here. It looks like something like this, and then go to here. And I'll just connect this to that. Okay, so it's basically this is a, the shape of uh, if if we cut at this point. So um, at this point will be very similar. So probably just we can just scale it. So now let's go back to Revit. Um, so. Actually, maybe I'll just move this point to this point. Oh, and also, you can type this one, 0 0.25. Okay, so now we can create a reference, um, a profile ref use, using uh, reference lines. So let's have a look again. So this is the shape. Um, I'm going to you uh, start from this point. Okay, so and go up something like this. Go down, maybe this, horizontal, go up, horizontal, go down, and then just finish it, trim. Okay, so uh, it's not perfect, but yeah, maybe we can adjust it a little bit. All right, so move. you can use your keyboard to move them. Okay. So think maybe uh, this need to go down a little bit more um, maybe this need to go to the left mm, maybe this need to go down a little bit more okay so that's it so then we need to select them CC and select this point you pick new host I'm going to just place it roughly close to this one uh, maybe here okay so and then I'm going to R E scale R E yeah so it look it looks like we can we need to select the reference lines only R E and then just a scale make it smaller something like this okay so we need another one here because um, this shape it will be uh, so one two three three profile shape okay so let's go back CC and P 
pay a uh, pick new host roughly here. So now I'll I'll have a try. So one, two, three, and with the path, create a form. So you will see, ah, oh, we can't do it. So this is because the path of this uh, mass. So we we can't um, have a full circle. So we need to SL split or use this split element and just click on the circle twice and the tab select this and delete it. So instead of uh, have a circle, we we can uh, we need to use an arc. Okay. So now we can one, two, three, and a path and a create a form. So now. This is it. So we can change it to shade, SD, and yeah, pretty much uh, very close. You can still change the uh, um, size, change the uh, change the shape. So for example, you can just select the reference line. So you can just drag drag these point, points, and so uh, and then change the the mass will change accordingly. Okay, so um, and also you can use these two points to control uh, where you want to create the opening here. So, um, but I think it's a little bit hard to control because, uh, for example, if I want, um, if 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 you want a specific. Um, distance between these so it will be a bit hard and also and you will see they are these two edge are not parallel okay so the easiest way if uh, if you want them to be perfect so you can simply just create something like this reference line and then create a, a void Pick the one on the left, go to 3D view, just make sure it's the height is enough. Oh, where's my void? Here. So yeah, just make sure it's it's, uh, it's tall enough, it's high enough. So now we have a very nice uh, opening here, right? Okay, so and what else? And then we can uh, so you can finish this mass if you want to, and then uh, because we have all these face, so you can apply wall by face. So or floor. Oh no no no, sorry, we you can't do a floor. <laughs> floor is different, but you can do wall. So for example, you can place a wall on this face. You can place another wall on the other side, but. It seems we have some issue because the thickness of the wall, we won't be able to have a very nice um, join between these two. So you see, this is uh, not um, not perfect, not good. So if you want to see this very nice and clean edge, so um, I think you can maybe probably just use this mass and you can give it uh, give this mass a material. So for example, um, let's just use this default wall, and then that's it. And yeah, of, of course the whole ma mass uh, uh, is using the same material. But if you want to give um, apply different materials, so for example, uh, to different material uh, to on the floor, so you, you can use the paint tool. Okay, so paint. PT. So, for example, I'll just paint some um, some different material. So maybe a timber floor on this surface. So then that's it. So okay. So you can use paint. So and once finished, um, yeah. So this is uh, this is it. Um, one a whole um, one element, right? So. You can still separate them, so uh, I think if I'm, if I need to, um, let me think. How? Yeah, you can probably. So instead of, um, I'll just copy this one here. So in case you want to 
model them, uh, you have already have this mass and you want to separate them. So you can always uh, edit and then, so um, we can just delete this mass. And then when you create this, so you don't, you don't um, have to select the whole profile, whole profile and whole profile to create this shape. You can also select, so for example, I, I want to, um, so this, look at these two edge and then in here, I'll use tab, control select, tab, control select, and also this path. So this way you can create a part of that mask. So you will see, these are only these two edge. And then you can create, so for example, another part separately. So then eventually you will have a, um, you can even uh, uh, create a separate, oh, hang on, what's going on? Ah, this void. So let me just uh, get rid of this for now. So, so then you can finish it. So so this mass only um, for these two surface. And so once you can just CC it, or you can just copy uh, copy and paste in the same, same location, or you can just, uh, I'll just show you this so it's clear and then you can just edit in place because all the reference lines are still there right so you can just create another one so this time um, i want only to create the floor surface and that's it so now we have these two element different element and they are if i move this back uh, try to pick a point. Yeah, because we have the reference line, we can use SC to pick the center point of the reference line. So let's try again, SC. Can I find that? Yeah. So you will see now we have separate element. So instead of one single element. Okay, so sometimes this can be helpful because um, maybe you want to do, um, not for this uh, specific um, uh, model, but sometimes you want to separate them. So for example, you can do uh, this. So you wanted to show uh, uh, what's this, what's that, <laughs> right? Anyway, so that's it. Um, very simple exercise, but um, I hope uh, you find it helpful. Okay, so uh, still, if you ha have any questions, please just feel free to leave it here. I'll come back to you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.